Welcome back to the show. We are back to answer that age-old question. How many seeds are actually in the pomegranate? Joining us here on the show, Miriam Pearl is back from Delicious Without Gluten. Welcome back to the show. Thank it's great you. to have you here. And we're back to talk Rosh Hashanah as well. Absolutely. A, a great celebration. First of all, tell everybody you know, what is Rosh Hashanah exactly? It's the Jewish New Year. It's uh, our Jewish New Year happens uh, once a year just like yours. No, really? <laughs> Get out. So how do, you, how do you celebrate it traditionally? Well, we eat apples and honey. We set our intent. Uh, we have new fruit blessings, so that's okay. uh, hence we're talking today about pomegranates. These are the jewels that you use, that's right? That's right. To it's our food jewelry. Let's talk about the pomegranate. So, I mean, th there is that question. I, we were we did a little bit of a survey here. Some people were way off, like Matt over there on uh, on camera one, <laughs> who said I think forty. He thought forty seeds in the pomegranate. Uh, Marty was I think seven fifty on on camera two over here. I actually knew this one. Yes, your, was, your area code. It was my old area code. Six. Well, I, hey, let me not say it. So how many There are, are 613 seeds said to be in a pomegranate. Okay. And that's the same number of commandments we have in the Bible. Ah, yes. okay. And we want to have as many good deeds in our new year as, as there are in pomegranates. Oh, that's fantastic. So you have to do at least two good deeds a day. Okay, that's fair. I can do that. I can, I can manage that. Uh, the other thing about the pomegranate is getting the seeds out of the pomegranate drives people crazy, and that's probably why a lot of people don't even bother exactly. with it, right? I think that people don't eat pomegranates because they have a hard time to de-see them. Right. So I'm going to just show you a very fast way that you can do it. I'm okay. scoring the pomegranate like this, right. taking a big chance here on air live TV. <laughs> so All we're just going to good. pry it open. Simple okay. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit of the edges to loosen them up. Okay. Okay. I've never seen it done this way. And before. then you just kind of spread it apart. And this is where you get all your anger and frustration for the day. Okay. This is actually my sushi <laughs> rice paddle, but you can okay. use like a wooden spoon or whatever. Look at and that. And just smack it right out. It works. And it works. What is the other one? I heard people putting it in water I know, and then they just... It's too much work. Okay, too much work. Too this much is work. really, really easy. And then it's empty in the end. And the kids would love doing this along yeah, with you too, fun, right? Yeah, it's a getting, fun thing to do. Involved. And then you can use it as jewels. Yes. So when you're entertaining, because you asked me, what do we do also for Rosh Hashanah? Right. We have family come over. Of course. And everybody eats. And they, of course, have dessert. And you want to be able to serve them something that is... Um, pretty, of course. Yeah. And because it's food jewelry, we can put it on anything. We can make it with um, icing sugar and a little bit of pomegranate juice. Oh, so this is so you've mixed in the pomegranate with the actual exactly. icing. Exactly. Okay. And it has a great flavor. Pomegranates yeah. are a little, little tart but very sweet. Mm -hmm. And then you can put it on top of a cake. Usually we do honey cake. Is this that is what that pan, is? That's, that's a, honey a pan, pound cake. Okay. But you could do it on anything. You just right. pour it on top. You do like this. You pour up your, your uh, icing, and then you can sprinkle on pomegranates like jewels. Very and you can nice. uh, put them on uh, donuts over here. And here we have a parfait. Okay. I start off with pomegranate juice and water because it's too strong if you do okay. just all pomegranate juice. So with a, a, like a one-third pomegranate, two-thirds Half and water? half I use. Oh, half and half, okay. I have all the recipes on my website. Oh, terrific. And all then right. what you can do is just uh, put unflavored gelatin. All and right, then and it, it sets it. Pour up the. This in. That's it. That's a mousse. That's a that's oh. the Jello plus some whipped cream. Oh, that looks and great. And then you just you can go ahead and do a dress it up. Here with exactly. My jewels. And you can actually do this in different layers. You can put you know uh, the oh, pomegranates yeah, in the inside, on the top, between layers. Yeah. You can do whatever you like. I love it. On Let's talk about side, this because this this is what caught my eye when I first came over to the table to visit you. What so, have you got here? This looks amazing. These are apple tarts. So what okay. what we do? We eat apples and honey for for the new year. So apples right. is important. We have a crumble and uh, and a pie. I did some tarts this year, and what I did is I just baked it like I normally do. And again, mm -hmm. the the recipe is on my website. Okay. And then I sprinkled pomegranates on top. You can't bake them obviously, because they'll just dry yeah, out. Yeah, that makes sense. But then you just sprinkle on top, and voila, it's... It's like you make it sound instant, so easy, but it is. sparkle, and also has a great texture. People want to know sometimes if you can eat the seeds. It's totally safe. Oh, yeah, They're absolutely. called arils, actually. They're actually, they're quite delicious. I'm going to have a couple, because <laughs> they are delicious. <laughs> and it's great for heart health. It's mm. great for diabetes. I mean, you have to watch the sugar, but it has great uh, antioxidants. Oh, so excellent. So there are, there's some great benefits to exactly. it as well. So you really have an all-in-one purpose. And, you know, everybody should be eating pomegranates. You can even eat them this way, pull, pull them apart, and, uh, and eat them with yeah, your kids. Yeah, just scoop them out with a spoon like if you want. Yeah, just scoop them out. 
Really? Uh, yeah. So just suck on them and then spit them out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they do it with the watermelon <laughs> seeds. I mean, why not the pomegranate exactly. seeds? Exactly. You mentioned the apples were very important, too. Is there a significance to the apple? What's apple, it, well, you know, it's harvest season. Oh, of course. So we yeah. do a lot of things with apples and honey because uh, it won't have a sweet year. Right. When does it begin? It begins this Sunday night. Okay. And uh, Sunday and Monday we have our big festival. You invite friends and you entertain and Wonderful. you Happy have a Rosh blessing on, you on a new fruit. To you and your family and, of Thank course, you. to everybody at home. Happy Rosh Hashanah to you as well. We'll be back with more Breakfast Television right after this, including some entertainment news for you.